Gemini Singles Welcome. It's a singles reading here at David Sky Tarot, where I like to say everything is perfectly out of control. It's for the end of January time frame, but really it's a timeless reading. But whenever you see it, if it resonates here, Gemini suns, moons, risings, and Venus signs, potentially here. Saint cards. I call it meet your soulmates. It's not always positive, read, because I'm simply asking spirit here to describe the one who's right for you. And here I look at their emotional aspects with two cards, uh, intellectual aspects with two cards. This is their sexual and romantic nature. And here I look at uh, what I call lifestyle and core values. Here I see usually Venus and Mars. We're going to get their Venus and Mars. I'm going to get uh, their sun. And I'm going to get their moon. Sometimes we can get Mercury, uh, maybe something else. But So when I look at the emotional aspects with this person, um, Aries, moon, you know, and uh, the moon. The moon is the energy, what, of the IC, of our mother, of our home. It's where we're the most vulnerable. You know, if you think of it as like an animal, it's like that most vulnerable spot on the animal uh, our deepest core self, the unconscious course, the unconscious mind. The moon is the mind. And uh, so I get with this person, and here you look, uh, I, this page of swords here, kind of a tough-looking page of swords, okay? Kind of at the ready. Um, I think what you have here is a very brave person, okay? Uh, Jim Knight, like they really are brave because the moon is all of that energy. But when it's in Aries, it wants to express that energy in an Aryan way. So, you know, in a Mars Martian way, you know, um, <clears throat> so there with the moon is what we need to feel comfortable. So for someone like this, being brave is really how they feel secure. You know, it's like if they're in doubt, their instincts, like a grizzly bear, is to attack. You know, whereas, uh, say you're a cancer uh, moon, like me, you know, maybe your instinct is to protect, you know, the shell, go in your shell. No, their instinct is to attack here. So I'm not saying this is a bad thing. This is your person now. Um, but, but what would that kind of translate into? There's someone that's uh, not afraid. I believe they're Gemini's son here. So... They are like a warrior uh, with their minds, and they are a warrior um, with their voice and the way they communicate. Um, <laughs> this person, I, I, I've given, I don't know, over a thousand readings, okay? And I very seldom say this. This person here, Gemini, is another Gemini, and they, they have this Aries moon, and they have the moon card here and their core values and lifestyle and the hanging man. And, you know, I'm a dummy, so I just put the hanging man in reverse. I don't really read reversal, so. Um, <clears throat> this person is a psychic, a energy worker. They're, some, they're, they're, they're banging the fifth house energy. Um, it's probably just something comes naturally to them. This could be a little bit of a younger person, uh, 20s 30s maybe uh, but someone who i believe with the emperor here and then this three of wands and three of wands also very active energy it's also third house gemini energy but it's like fiery um and coming with this aries energy um it could indicate maybe their moon is in their third house get the feeling um and i think that they um You'll know them because they'll have like a steely eyes, fiery eyes. You can, you can kind of see the look here um, in a little bit of a, a light in their eyes. And uh, they might be someone who their direct gaze could possibly make you a little bit uncomfortable, this person. Um, and I believe like a store they might say or what I'm hearing is like a... Uh, uh, and I see when some a woman saying this, and as the woman says it, she sort of uh, puts her fingers on her chest a little bit, like "Oh my!" It's almost like a uh, cliche, but the image is like uh, it's. And she says to this person, oh, "It's like you look right through me." It's like "Oh my!" 
uh, just because she looks into the person's eyes, uh, male or female here. Um, so uh, to me, it's like there's a somewhere's got to be the scorpionic energy here too. Um, I was wondering, it could have something going on with the Venus and Mars, which we'll see. But we see this page of swords comes over the nine of pentacles. Uh, another story I think your person's going to tell you, Gemini. Um, and, you know, now my opinion, it's going to be a highly karmic relationship that this person has with their mother. Speaking of the moon, um, their mother is a warrior. They have a single mother. Their mother uh, may have served in the military. Yeah, even had like a military career here. If not, their mother could have been a policewoman uh, in some kind of police field, something like this. Um, like their mother uh, was a warrior, and I, I don't even mean that um, metaphorically here. We're not talking about Xena. Um, <clears throat> And so just an extraordinarily powerful person and a Nine of Pentacles independent person. And they instilled this in your person here. Now, it's not saying that they're not into relationships here. Because um, I think they will be. Um, I think we have to see, though, a Venus Gemini here. Gemini, Venus and Gemini with this justice. Because it's not going to be a Libra uh, Venus um, and I think we could see a Mars in Cancer with this person. Um, so, it, particularly this Mars in Cancer, it's a very vulnerable Mars here. So, it, a lot of their energy, even with the Aries um, uh, moon, they'd be very outspoken. Um, whatever kind of healing they do, and I think they do, like, actively do healing, um, it would be projective healing. It would not be like, uh, um, they wouldn't be probably just a psychic or a medium. You know, they would do some kind of healing technique or reiki or laying on of hands. Uh, if not that, then, you know, um, it could speak. I mean, this could be someone that heals uh, with their mind. And, you know, they could be a psychologist, psychiatrist, something like that. You know, they come, uh, the, the mother that they come from, and I'm just saying mother because I, I just see this as being a fatherless person here, Jim and I, uh, and because I think that their parent was focused on them, uh, this person, the child, and their career. Um, and they're very solid with it, and that was just the way it was, okay? Um, and and gave them a lot here a lot of they have a very strong sense of self-esteem you know i think the fact that they're the page of swords it's like uh this this emperor this aries moon shouldn't be seen they're not uh, egoistic so much they don't like look down people there's a intellectual curiosity there's a peer there's a calm there what's the word i'm looking for they can put people at ease uh, because uh, they just seem uh, unassuming. That's the word I'm looking for. There's an unassumingness about them. It's not so much the modesty of like a Virgo. It's just, uh, it, 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 Gemini's can be, I'm a Sag and I love Gemini's. It's like you can be really friendly just by being just smiling and looking and just looking open and inviting. It's like I always see Gemini so much more than Aquarius as the energy of, uh, you know, someone that's uh, wanting to have friends and go out and have a good time. You see this third house energy too here with this person. I'll tell you another thing that comes to mind with this person, Gemini. They know how to let their hair down, too. It's a part of their nature, too. That's part of Aries Moon, too. Another good thing about Aries Moon, especially, I think, if you look at this page and look at the cards, and uh, this is not a person going to let something fester. So in a relationship, I mean, they're going to say what comes into their mind. So, um, and they, I believe, now is where this Cancer Mars comes in. They'll say it uh, in a... Uh, and even with the Gemini Venus, uh, takes a bad rap sometimes. Uh, but uh, Gemini V is extraordinarily open-minded, uh, mutable air. Um, I get the feeling this is someone that can listen, too, okay? So, you know, they can be engaging. You know who I got probably most of you too young? Johnny Carson, you know? 
I didn't have a father myself. I grew up uh, watching Johnny Carson. I just, I loved him, you know, when I was a little kid, a tiny kid. Uh, and, you know, he has this ability uh, to be engaging and funny, but it, to really be able to step back with his ego and allow other people to step up, you know, and, 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 and be, you know, and uh, made him a great interviewer. Uh, and this is, I think, a quality that your person has. So this uh, a way of sort of uh, putting people at ease and disarming people. And um, this might be somehow uh, the way that they work, you know, um, <clears throat> by, you know, being that person to people when they work with them that gives no resistance and sort of uh, is a mirror, becomes like a mirror to other people. And uh, I'm thinking of the hollow bone, you know, uh, if they're uh, a seer, if they're reading tear, if they're doing something like that, giving advice, um, they're maybe being a hollow bone and giving that advice from uh, this inner place that they have. And this is the moon and the hanged man here. It's about looking at something from a, a different perspective and operating from the deep unconscious. So in terms of their lifestyle, I mean, I'm going to use the word woke. You know, this is going to be a woke person. They're going to be spiritually aware. They're going to understand who they are. Uh, I think they probably did from an early time in their life. Uh, they, they weren't a person that spent a lot of time searching oh who am I what am I here for they kind of knew who they were they knew what they're here for and I believe they have been kind of practicing maybe their whole life or since a young adulthood uh, in some kind of uh, probably healing uh, art science guys um, so uh, let me know. This is uh, meant to be a purely predictive read. I don't see this someone that's around you now. I see them coming here at this end of January time frame. Give it a minute. It's tarot. It's reading something from the 5D. It's the astral train. It's on the way. It's not here in the 3D. So maybe it's first week of January. I think this is what's coming for you in terms of a soulmate, the one that's meant for you, the one that's right for you. So thank you guys. Give me a like. Appreciate it. It helps the algorithm push this along. would like to get it out more. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Tuesdays are always going to be Gemini Cancer Day. Thank you.